Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make custom alerts that are both fun, they're engaging, but most importantly, they're gonna help you stand out of the crowd. And we're gonna do this for less than five bucks, so stick around. So first off, let me start by saying that the most important thing on your stream is you and your interaction with your with your viewers. OK, so nothing can substitute for that that engagement. OK, but past that, the way your stream looks, the, the way that it works, uh, how your how your audience can in, in, interact with it um, and the way you use technology can really add that wow factor. And that's what we're going to do today when we upgrade your alerts. But before I start, my name is Josh and I run Fat Guy Fun Time. I have my YouTube channel and I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we have a great community over there. We have a ton of fun. Uh, you should come on by, hang out. Uh, you, uh, you're, you'll like it, I promise. Okay, let's get started. So grab four neon green poster boards. They were at Walmart when I picked them up for 67 cents a piece and then grab some something to hang them up on the wall. I did push pins, make sure they're green if you're gonna use these for a buck 44. Then second, you wanna pick out a nice space here, something that's well lit, something you can uh, put your camera up to uh, and give yourself a, a good amount of room to the wall. Um, one important fact here is I'm not using a special camera, I'm not using a webcam, I'm using an iPhone to capture this. Uh, I also use my Samsung. I tried both out. They both came out very, very similar, so don't worry about it. Now start hanging up these uh, poster boards, as you can see I'm doing here. Uh, the really key is try to eliminate any shadows where there's gaps and make sure your lighting is as even as possible. Too bright or too dark spots will be really hard to eliminate in the filter that we're gonna apply later on. And that's pretty much it. Just a quick tip, don't wear a green shirt when you're doing this because we're gonna apply a filter that'll completely eliminate you out of the shot. Or wear a shirt that's green and then it'll just be your head and your arms. Whatever you wanna do, just be creative. That's the big thing here. If you'll notice, I'm being a giant dork and being silly because that's my personality and that's what I wanna come out in my stream. I want people to get to know me and you should do the same thing here. Quick tip here is make these tiered as well. Remember, this can cover your followers, your cheers, and your subscribers. So if somebody donates 10 bits or they donate 500 bits, having different alerts for those two different tiers would be awesome. And I would recommend setting up different alerts for tier one, tier two, and tier three subscribers so you can recognize people's different contributions accordingly. Okay, now you have the raw content for your alerts made. But what we wanna do is we wanna edit it and format it to make it look pretty. And there's a bunch of ways that you can do this. You can do it on your phone if you want to, but today I'm gonna recommend that we use some type of video editing software. Now there's a bunch of free ones out there. In fact, my buddy just downloaded DaVinci Resolve and raves about it. Uh, but today, just so we are clear, I'm gonna be using Move AVI. It's something I've used for about a year now. I like it, it's easy to use. I'll be demonstrating how we do the editing process uh, on that program. So I'll have a link for you down in the description. That being said, if you're using a free one, just follow along on the video. It's very similar to a lot of the video editing software that's available for free. I'm sure you'll be able to do this on your own. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Okay, so this is Move AVI. This is the video editing software I use for everything. Uh, so first off, I started off a new project at 1080p, which is the base canvas I use on my stream. Um, I put a backdrop here, which is my base canvas of a, it's just gonna be a green JPEG that I drag all the way out for the length of my project. That's gonna make sure that the entire project has a green background to it, regardless of what I put on top. You'll see when I do some cropping later on why that's so important. Now I drug in the video that we made on, on my iPhone and I'm gonna drag all the way down the timeline here to find the exact section of the video that I want to grab for this particular alert. Now remember, I did a whole bunch of alerts on this one video. So now I want to cut this down to the specific one that I want, and I'm going to make this one alert. Once I have the alert looking like I want it to look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to crop down my video. That means I'm going to eliminate the walls from my shot. I'm just going to crop it down to me and the green poster board behind me. You'll notice now that on the sides where I cropped, it's showing the green base canvas as opposed to just black. So let's see the alert. 
Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Okay, no. I like this a lot. And now we'll export the video as an MP4. When you do this, you can export at a regular quality. No need to go high end on this. Okay, so we took the raw footage, we formatted it, it looks amazing. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna throw it into Stream Elements. And from Stream Elements, we're gonna make it an alert. Then we're gonna take that alert and we're gonna load it into slobs or OBS, whatever you use, okay? So you're almost done, you're doing really well, okay? So hang in there, we'll get this done. So this is my Stream Elements page here. So first off, I use Stream Elements because it's a lighter load on my system. It's a very powerful tool. Um, I can set up one alert uh, that covers all of my followers, my bits, my uh, subscriptions, everything. Um, but first off, we wanna go to my overlays and create a blank overlay. Just set your overlay resolution to whatever your base canvas resolution is in OBS. Add a widget alerts and then alert box from here you'll see all of the things this one alert box is going to cover from followers to subscribers to tip alerts cheers hosts raids the whole nine and you'll notice each category has a setting that's because each category can have a different alert and it's going to but right now i want to focus just on your followers so i want you to uncheck every box except for the top one that says followers now click on position, size, and style, and I want you to set the alert box to the resolution of your base canvas. Again, for me, it's 1920 by 1080. That means this alert box is gonna take up the entire screen. So on the right-hand side where you see this preview, that's now going to represent our screen in OBS. What shows here is what's gonna show on OBS. So back under your follower settings, I want you to click on change video. And now I want you to click on upload video and you're gonna upload the video. We just format it with our follower alert. Now that it's uploaded, I want you to take notice of how long the alert time is on the bottom left hand side. So this is four seconds long. That's, we're gonna need to know that. And I want you to click submit. Now, this alert has sound built into it because I recorded it when I was recording the video. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear the sound that's built in on this follower alert. If you don't do that, you will have their default sound playing over top of your alert sound. Now set text over image. Okay, and now we're gonna head on down to the text settings and we're gonna make some changes in here. Oh, you know what, uh, first off, Go down to the emulate button in the middle of the screen, click that and hit preview alert. This hello? is gonna play the alert. Hello! Oh my god, hello! And the reason we're doing this is because when, when we pull out again, it's gonna leave a little preview up on the screen here for us. I, I wanna see where the preview is gonna be so I can get my, my lettering correct, uh, font wise and, and spacing wise. So again, click on text and we're gonna change a few things now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size of the font. Um, I'm doing with an entire screen alert, so I'm moving it up to 100. Uh, you can actually see the, 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 the preview across the top there. Um, it's a lot easier to see at that, at that font. And then my suggestion is to go in here, find a font that you like and pick something other than the default. Um, a lot of people are gonna use the default, so you wanna stand out from the crowd. Uh, so I'll just go in here and I'll pick something that I like. Um, and then the other thing you want to do is uh, change the uh, highlighted uh, text to a different color. Uh, I'm going to go with red. It pops a little bit better for me. Uh, but just, again, keep it separate from what the default would be. Uh, you want you want to stand out of the crowd. That's the whole point of doing these alerts. All right, now go over to your advanced tab, and you'll see uh, the, the margin from the top. I'm going to hit that. I know what mine is. It's 650. Um, I'm gonna, you can see it move the text down away from the top. Um, that's, that's perfect for me. You're just going to want to go in here and play around with this until it looks right to you. These are custom alerts. Make it look the way you want it to look. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and hit save and we're going to try this out again. We're going to go down to emulate. Um, and we're going to, oh, uh, quick, quick, uh, tip right here. This play live on stream, click that. So you can actually see it work in OBS when you want to, and then go ahead and, uh, preview. Hello? 
Okay, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for, and I think we're going to stick with that. Okay, so over to slobs. And yes, you heard me right. I use stream elements and slobs. I feel like you get the best of both worlds when you do this. But either way, uh, slobs and OBS should work very, very similar. So everything I say and show you in here should transfer over to regular OBS. So let's get started. So the way Stream Elements works is by taking what you make on there, exporting it to a browser source. So you'll get basically a web address. You take that and you add it into your OBS or slobs uh, via uh, adding a browser source. Now, your first thought is to do that on whatever page you mostly stream on or on every page you stream on. I would strongly recommend against this. Make a universal overlay. In that overlay, put all of your source media sources and all of your browser sources that you would want to work in all of your overlays. Then take that one overlay and put it in all of your other overlays. It's called an embedded overlay. It's a very powerful tool. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask in the comments and I promise I will get back to you. Okay, now it is time to add a browser source. That browser source will be the browser source I got from Stream Elements on the alerts overlay that we made. So I create the browser source, I call it alerts. I make the box. I'm going to resize the box to the size of the screen, which will be a 1080p canvas. I paste my, my browser source in here and make sure that you click shut down source when not visible. Okay, the last step now is to right click your browser source, go into filters, you want to add a filter, and you want to make sure that you add a chroma filter. That chroma filter is going to eliminate all the green that was behind the alerts that we made. Okay. Once that's done, feel free to give this a test. Hello? Hello? Oh my God, hello? And there you have it. You just made your very own custom, cheap, engaging alert. When people see it, they're gonna be like, what is this? It's gonna blow their minds. Now here's the really cool part about this is you did all the hard work here, okay? Now, if we wanna add a subscriber alert or if we wanna add a bit alert to this, it's really simple. Okay, so now I'm gonna make an alert for bits, okay? So just like before, I cut down the video uh, to exactly the part that I want it from the original recording. Okay. I have a base canvas, which is green. I have over to, okay. uh, over top of that. I have over top of that. I have, uh, my video. And then just for funsies, I found a screen smash little effect online and I added it to where I high five, which I thought was kind of cool. Once you have everything exactly where you want it, export the video file as an mp4 and open up stream elements again okay just like before we're going to go to my overlays we're going to reopen the alert overlay that we made and this time we are going to click on the cheers settings now we're going to change the video and first we have to upload the video that we just made. So once that's uploaded, look at the duration, which is nine seconds and hit submit. Like you probably heard earlier, this also has sound. So I'm going to clear out the uh, default sound that stream elements has set up here. I'm gonna put the text over alert and I'm going to go into my text settings and I'm going to change everything the way I had it before. Again, I changed my font to like a hundred. I changed the type of font. I changed the color of font. So it's not default stuff. Um, and then I go into advanced settings and change margin from top to like 650, 700. Again, depends on how you like it and where you want the font to go and how you want it to, to uh, lie. Again, play with the animation settings, play with the timing, get it to where you want. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Another quick tip here. Um, 
if you don't have any variations, uh, turn off the variations because it'll mess on how your alert is actually triggered. Now go ahead and test out your alert. Uh, just another one, one more quick tip here. Uh, make sure that your text is in green because it'll mess up in the chroma filter when you put it in OBS. Okay, alerts for bits and followers are set up. Just repeat these steps for subscribers and donations. All right, that's it. You made it to the end. I'm super proud of you. Well, I hope you I hope you learned a lot, right? I hope you had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, but just remember, uh, this is a template, right? So uh, be creative, have fun with it, make it your own, okay? And if you liked the video, or if you didn't like the video, or if you have any feedback, or want me to cover cover a subject, just uh, leave a comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. But uh, I'm off to play some video games right now. Uh, so I hope you have a great day. And as always, peace. He's picking his buddy up. He's picking his buddy up. Nice. In my body, right there's a ton. Oh.